Hello Year 6, I'm here to talk to you today about joining Kelvin Hall School, which you will all be doing in September 2021, which is not very far away now. So my name is Mr Leng and I'm the head of school at Kelvin and it's my job to look after Kelvin every day and to make sure that you are all safe and happy and you get a good chance to learn in our school building. So you'll see me walking around a lot and you'll get to know me when you start at Kelvin Hall School. So let's have a little look at Kelvin. Now I know some of you have managed to come and see it and some of you have managed to meet some staff, but others might not have been in the building yet. So this is one, one side of our building, what it looks like. This is the main entrance where you would come in, usually around here, okay? This is a shot of our school logo on the side of our performance hall and sports facilities. And you'll get used to seeing that logo all over the place. This is a little picture of what Kelvin looks like inside. And as you can see, it's quite big and there are lots of students. You'll soon get used to how big it is and how many students there are. And this is a little picture of what our social area looks like, which is where you'll spend time on your breaks and lunch times. And these are some of our nice students walking into school on a morning in our nice school uniform. So the first thing I want you to think about today is when you hear Kelvin Hall, what do you think? So I just want you to spend 30 seconds thinking about that. So I wonder what kind of things you thought about. Let's see if any of them are the same as the ones I thought you might. So did you think secondary school? Did you think big building? Did you think exciting? Or maybe you thought it's a bit scary, which lots of you might be thinking at this time, that moving from your primary school to a brand new school is a bit of a scary thing to do, especially when that school is a lot bigger. But don't worry, because you'll soon get used to things and firstly and foremost, Kelvin Hall is a community where we look after one another. So you'll be absolutely fine here. So what I want to do now is just see what you already know about Kelvin Hall. So I've got a few questions for you. And for each one, I want you to think for 30 seconds and see whether you know what the answer is. So here's the first one. Where is Kelvin Hall located? Hopefully most of you got this one. So Kelvin Hall is located on Bricknell Avenue. Okay, your next question. How many students do you think there are at Kelvin Hall? OK, there are actually more than 1,500 students at Kelvin, which is probably a little bit bigger than your primary school at the moment. Next question. How many teachers are there at Kelvin Hall to teach all of those students?
So obviously we have a lot of students, so we need a lot of teachers. So actually we have 92 different teachers at the school um, and you might be taught by any of them um, throughout your time with us. Next question then. As well as teachers, we have lots of other staff in school that are here to make sure that your day runs smoothly. How many staff do you think there are in total at Kelvin Hall? Okay, so as well as our teachers, there are a lot more actually. So in total, we have more than 200 staff at Kelvin. In fact, sometimes it gets up to as high as 250. We have lots of staff in the building, all here to make sure that you have a good school day and that your day runs smoothly. So Kelvin is clearly quite big and there's clearly a lot going on. Let's have a look at some of the areas. Okay, so you should have seen this already in a booklet that we sent to you. But there are maps of each floor at Kelvin. So what you'll see on our ground floor, there's lots of classrooms and you can see that our building is roughly butterfly shaped. And then you also have PE facilities and our performance hall. And you have our dining hall at the other side on the ground floor. On the first floor, you have additional facilities for classrooms which go all the way around and these ones here in the slightly darker color they're our science labs and we have lots of those we have the music department we have the sen department and we have our hub and on the second floor you have even more classrooms our brand new computer rooms and our technology rooms and our art studios. So there's lots to Kelvin, but you will very, very quickly find your way around it because it's so open and you can see lots of the rooms all the time. So you won't get lost after the first couple of weeks. So what I want you to think about now, I've talked to you about how big Kelvin is. What do you think are the main differences between your primary school and Kelvin Hall? Let's see what some of the main differences are. So I've already spoken to you about size and said that Kelvin is much bigger than probably your primary schools. So in your primary schools, you probably have about 250, maybe up to 400 students if you're in a big primary school. And at Kelvin, there'll be over 1,500. So that's a big difference. At your primary, you might only have one or two teachers and you're probably in the same classroom most of the time. But at Kelvin, you'll move around a lot and you'll have different teachers for each of your lessons. Your primary school is probably very close to your house. Now, Kelvin might not be very far away either, um, but, and you'll probably still be able to walk here, but it might be further away. At primary school, you might get given your equipment, or you might have a drawer or a book bag or a peg to put your stuff. At Kelvin, we'll expect you to bring your own stuff with you, and you'll have a locker where you put things if you don't need them for that day. You might not get too much homework at primary school. It might only be once a week. But at Kelvin, you'll get regular homework from your subjects. Maybe you go home for lunch at primary, but you won't at Kelvin. All of our students stay with us and we all have lunch together. 
Firstly, though, Kelvin is a community, and I want you to remember that. So although there will be big differences, you'll be helped with making those changes, and there'll be lots of people to support you along the way. So one thing I want to ask you, so again, think for 30 seconds about this. Who do you think is at Kelvin Hall to help you? You might know some of these people already, and you might know their names. Okay, let's see who you came up with. So did you think teachers, students, your friends from primary school, your year leaders? Hopefully you did, because you should have met two of those. So this is your year seven team. So you've probably all met Mrs. Clay, and you might have met Miss Mathers too. So they are your year leader and your assistant year leader. And then you have Mr. Nichols, who's your behavior support officer, who will also work with your year group. You will also have a focus group teacher at Kelvin. So that person you'll see every day in school for, for a half an hour lesson. And in those lessons, you'll focus on a mixture of topics. You might do PSHE, you might look at your own progress in school, you might look at literacy and values, and you'll look at the things that are going on in the world around us. Your focus group teacher is the main member of staff that you can talk to if something is wrong or if you need to ask questions and they've probably been at the school longer than you, so they should be able to help you out. Let's talk more about what we said about Kelvin being a community then. So a community is a group of people that are in the same space and have things in common. So at Kelvin, there are quite a few things that link our community and that we have in common. And we like to think that those are where we are, our mission, and our values. So let's think about those things. So where we are, this is a nice map of our local area. And for quite a lot of you, your houses will be somewhere on here. OK, and Kelvin is right here in the middle. OK, we're on Bricknell Avenue and we're this big building here and the fields around it. And we're also very close to Wyke College. They share some of our facilities. Our mission then. So this is our Kelvin Hall mission statement. Kelvin Hall School, where hardworking, respectful and independent young people thrive in and beyond our community. So let's think about what that means. So our community is our school, but it's also the people that are near us, the people that live near the school and our local area. And we hope that you will do well and contribute well to that community by being hardworking, respectful and independent people. So let's have a think about what those things mean. So our values are hard work, respect and independence. So how do you think you can demonstrate hard work? Hopefully you came up with some good stuff there. Let's have a look about what we think demonstrates hard work. So trying hard and putting in the effort to everything you do. Not giving up. 
not letting failures or disappointments knock you back, meeting the deadlines that we set, which is when we want things done by, and completing all of your homework. Those are just some of the things. How do you think you can demonstrate respect? Okay, I wonder what things you came up with. Let's see if they're the same as any of ours. So these are the things we think show respect. Listening when someone else is talking. Following instructions that staff members give you. Not answering back. Queuing for lunch calmly and quietly. Moving around the school calmly and quietly. Smiling and greeting your staff and peers. Being polite and calm caring for the building and clearing away litter. Okay, let's have a think about our last value. How can you demonstrate independence? Okay, let's see if you've got any of the same as us. So being on time for school and for your lesson demonstrates independence. Completing your homework, bringing equipment into every lesson, looking after your exercise books, using our Kelvin Independence website, which is a way to find extra information about your lessons, meeting deadlines, attending revision if it's on, and asking for help and support whenever you need it. So those are so just some of the ways we try to bring our values to life. And if we focus on those things and make sure that you are hardworking, respectful and independent, then you should do well and you should contribute to the community around you, which is what we want of all Kelvin students. So let's think a bit more practically about the things that you will study when you come to Kelvin Hall. So have a think about what kind of lessons you might have and the topics you might learn about. OK, hopefully you've come up with some of the same as we do. So in year seven and eight, these are the things you'll get to study. English, maths, science, geography, history, religious studies, French or Spanish, IT, technology, food technology, health, art, drama, music, PE and PSHE which is your personal, social and health education. And you can see some of our happy students there in some of those lessons. And there's some more here. Someone in technology, playing football in PE, enjoying science lessons and cooking and using our IT facilities. So a question for you. Do you think you're ready to join the Kelvin Hall School community? Because in September 2021, you'll be coming to us and you will be a big part of our school. So we're really sorry 
that you've not been able to come and do your transition week with us, but you can still see us. So have you been on a school tour with us? If not, you can come and have a look around. Are you maybe coming to our summer school and getting a chance to meet your other year seven students? And if you're not doing those things, well, we'll see you on Tuesday, the 7th of September anyway, because that's when you all start and you'll all be in the building with us. So let's think about what you'll be doing this week. So this week, you'll have four main activities. You'll have some assemblies. You've just had the first assembly now with me. You'll have virtual lessons. So this will be Kelvin Hall teachers delivering you bits and pieces of our curriculum and getting you used to how we teach and meeting our staff. You'll have some PE lessons, really, really important for your activity. And those will be led by your current year six teachers. And you'll have some time to complete an independent workbook that we've sent you. So thank you very much for listening. And I hope that you enjoy Transition Week. And if you've still got some time left in this bit of the session, you can start doing something independent in your workbook. We look forward to seeing you in September.